when I look at myself, I don't necessarily, necessarily think I look like a horse, but there are times I wake up and I'm thinking, maybe my face is a touch long. My chin perhaps comes down more than not, I don't know. Driven the Mazda, quite uh, quite fancy. Where's the handbrake? Oh, that button. Push button start. Little joystick. Camera. Yep. What's this little speedo in the window doing? Never seen that before. The car's actually telling me that I should be going 60k an hour right now, which is quite fancy. So you're telling me I don't need street signs, I don't need keys to the car anymore, I don't even need to do a head check. You're telling me robots are basically driving you. So we're actually heading back now to the sunny eastern suburbs of Camberwell, where I, where I grew up, of meeting mum back there now, she still lives out that way. And we actually sold our family home that I lived in for 13 or 14 years. Through friends of friends and connections of connections, we've ended up actually finding out the person that, that rents it out and they've been good enough to let us back in for the day. Hello, mother. Good to see you. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> this is the old stomping ground for me. Yeah. Chose the colour blue there. Did I choose a yellow curtain? Yes. Yeah, that's a horrific choice. <laughs> a big desk down there, I was a bit of a nerd, so had a large study area. Discovered my love of coffee in here. Got you into uni, Got me into uni. Been there nine years. Good times. Can we talk about your tile choice around here? <laughs> oh, that's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> Acid wash red. They're gross. My first year at the club, I won one of the all-time water polo games against Sam Wright, Jack Siebel and Benny Warren in that pool. I reckon we were in there for a good couple of hours one summer. Took the chocolates, of course. Tim and I used to play a fair bit of soccer up here. One-on-one -on -one soccer. I'd always win, because I'd, I'd make sure I'd win. We'd never stop until I was ahead. I was young, and we were playing outside, and my sister didn't want me to go inside. She said, it's fine, everyone just poos in the garden, so. Go. That happened. I'm not proud of it, <laughs> but yeah, it happened. Very funny. All right. All right. See, See you, you later. later. Catch ya. Oh, that was interesting. But, uh, not much has changed, but a few things have changed, I suppose. We're playing over in Perth against the Eagles. Got in a bit of a fight with Paddy McGinnity and. Uh, Ats came in. I thought, oh, here he comes. He's come to help me out. And he sort of grabbed McGinnity's jumper and then McGinnity looked at me and said, oh, what are you going to do, your horse? Ats gave me nothing, didn't help me out, didn't do anything. We actually lost the game and we're all in the rooms. It was pretty quiet, pretty somber feeling. And, and Ats just sort of wanders over and sits down next to me and goes, did Pat and McGinnity call you a horse today? Now, just he just started calling me horse. Everyone heard the story and literally by the time we touched back down in Melbourne, um, yeah, I was horse. When my girlfriend came around, and I, the first thing I said to her, I said, do you think I look like a horse? And she laughed and goes, yeah, a little bit. So I had the finger operated, oh, it would have been a couple of days after the Gold Coast game. It all went well and pinned it back on, stitched it back on and got a little button on the top of my finger now, which is pretty fancy. But when I was told I was getting a button put on, I just thought, oh, that's just the, the medical name for, you know, something fancy that they call it a button. And it was literally a button. It's good, because like if I'm ever out somewhere and a button pops off, like I've always got a spare, I was a chance to lose my finger. If it went horrifically wrong, it's not saying I wouldn't give a finger to play in a grand final, because I'm saying if I was in this situation, I would think long and hard about it. But the saying is I'd, I'd give an arm and a leg. I don't think you'd give an arm and a leg, but you'd certainly think about sacrificing a finger, I think. 